Hey, what's going on guys? Max Chroma here with another Photoshop color tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing some cool techniques that you can use to color separate an image using just 3D LUTs or what are called color lookup tables. So I'm basically going to generate some of these and show how I create them. You can essentially make any color lookup table as long as you have a document with a flat background layer and really any types of adjustment layers, probably not all of them. I haven't checked on every single one you can use, but you can use layers on top and set them to blending modes and do adjustment layers. And normally people would use these to, let's say, make a curves adjustment and a saturation adjustment, you know, do a couple of different things to an image and then save that out as a lookup table. You go file export color lookup table, just call this adjustments. And then I'll say, okay, I'll go to my desktop and just save it right there. I'll say adjustments dot LUT and it generates a file that you can then, it sort of combines those together. And I can go to image adjustments, color lookup, load that file that I just created, adjustments, and it processes those things automatically as one adjustment. Or I can load those in as a color lookup table adjustment layer, load the 3D LUT right here. And if I put those in where these other ones are located in the Photoshop folders, I'd be able to just load them right like that, or it's kind of here already now. But what I want to show in this video is doing color separations through 3D LUTs. So it all comes down to whether or not I can create a specific thing I'm trying to do with just a combination of adjustment layers. So a little bit earlier, I was playing around with this and testing out if I could extract the hues of the image using just some LUTs. So, and essentially to create the LUT, I'd have to have it work all with the background layer, not duplicating the layer at all, and then using adjustment layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is a black and white adjustment layer set to maximum white. And then I'm going to set the blending mode to difference. Okay. And this gives me all of the hues. This is essentially, this is the chroma gradient. Right here, it's just inverted of the hues, right? So this, the red has become cyan, the cyan has become red, but everything's fading out to black. So now what I know I can do is take another black and white adjustment layer, maximum white, and this time set it to divide. Okay, and that's gonna give me all of the saturations of the hues, but they're inverted, right? Well, pretty easy, all I have to do is invert create another adjustment layer, invert. And so with these three adjustment layers, and I can zoom in here and see that that stuff is definitely extracting the hue correctly, right? Um, and just everything else becomes white. Anything that was neutral gray becomes white. Now I can just essentially take this, you know, there should be no black pixels anyway, right? It's all just hues. So I can take this and convert this now to a LUT. So I'll do file, export, color lookup tables. I'll say this is the max chroma full hue reveal. Say okay. We're going to put this to the desktop and we'll just call it max chroma full hue reveal. Save that out. And I can go ahead and delete all those, go back to the original image. Go to image adjustments, color lookup, load that file right here. And there we go. All done with just one particular LUT. So I think I'll stop this video here and I'll get into doing some other color separations, show them in the videos, and I'll put all that stuff out as a free color lookup table, color separation pack that I'll just go ahead and do that. So with this video, I just wanted to show how I go about creating just one of them. Extracting the hue is one of the primary ways to get access to all the other hues. We'll go ahead and do other stuff like the six primary hues, the red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, maybe extracting the black and white. See what else we can do as just LUTs. 
Now it's a little bit different than actions and stuff that I do in the actions as well. Probably can't get into too much more advanced levels of tints, tones, and shades where I duplicate the layers and start using multiple layers together. But I just wanted to show with this particular video how that works. You can do color separations with 3D LUTs.